So let's talk about Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Uh, we had a lot of questions about that. Can you treat Hashimoto's with low-dose immunotherapy with LDI? Yes, you can. You can treat every variety of autoimmune thyroiditis, as far as I know, with LDI. Treating Hashimoto's can potentially reverse the symptoms for people and restore them to normal thyroid function if you catch them within the first six months of the disease process, maybe the first year, depending on how high their antibodies are and how much destruction is going on. But it becomes underwhelming to treat them when people have had the condition for years. They've had an elevated TPO antibody or thyroid peroxidase antibody for years, and they've had to be on thyroid replacement because of the destruction and damage to their gland. So now they are functionally hypothyroid. If you've been, uh, have you had the autoimmune thyroiditis for a long enough time, you have suffered enough damage to your gland that even if we successfully turn off the autoimmune response to the thyroid, you will still be hypothyroid and you will still likely be taking the same dose of thyroid medication. So it is a net zero benefit to your life in, in some cases. That makes the treatment less exciting than other things, a little underwhelming. If you do have Hashimoto's thyroiditis with an elevated TPO and you have some relative deficiency in thyroid production and you have had the condition for a year or less, it is certainly worth trying to shut it off and see if we can restore normal function and have you become normal thyroid without taking any supplementation. If you've had a disease for longer, you can still do it. Um, the way I track response using LDI for Hashimoto's or Graves' disease is to have people take each LDI dose and then about 10 days, 10 to 14 days later, go to the lab and check your antibody. Whether you have a Hashimoto's and you check an elevated TPO antibody, or you have Graves' disease and you check an elevated thyroid stimulating immunoglobulin, 